So guys, this morning I thought I'd do a little toolbox tour. It is a bit messy, I need to give it a bit of a clean out really. But you know, I've got various odds and swords, you know. They're quite handy, especially if you check batteries on trucks quite a lot. You know, you've got a little scraper and knife, a few little bits there. You know, pliers, side cutters and a few little other bits. That's just uh, my random drawer of sockets. And just odds and ends if I need to bung anything up plug anything in there has some electrical crimpers and strippers and testers and up in there I've got some more electrical bits do a fair few electrical bits on trucks especially the old horse boxes and up here got my old little selection of adjustables not that I really ever use them and in here got me electrical terminal cleaner set which is I've used that a few times quite handy little tool not very expensive and I have a little selection of picks then the snap on three eight and quarter torque drive set as well as that I have a bit of a selection of ratchets and extensions and I actually just bought this little set which I've been meaning to buy for a while but then they only just had a good deal on it. I think I got that for £130 and then I got a nice little um, Allen key set with it for £15. I got my little screwdriver set. A couple of them are in me. I lent to me apprentice. That's his little toolbox I gave him to use for now. Oh, I also do very much rate the I got Mac tool half inch gun drill and my quarter inch gun up there. They are Especially that half inch gun, that will, I can easily undo seven and a half ton lorry wheel nuts with that. Very easy, and they're up to about 450, 500 newton meters tight. And I've got a couple of, anyway, but then I've got a couple of uh, oil filter wrenches. Now I go into my main, main box. got a couple of big spanners. Oh, this is the uh, key set I was on about. There's a little selection there. On three eight. Then we've got my adapter set, some various sockets, and under that, then you've got your uh, oil filter sockets, some reverse torque sockets, and some wheel nut removers. Then uh, under here, we have uh, just my torque wrench and my pry bars. About it's not very light, but it's quite dark in the workshop today. And then, I have my main spanners, some brake pipe spanners, they're also good for fuel. Do if you're doing fuel, fuel lines and stuff like that. And then, a various selection of spanners, which are just a bit of a mess, really. Then, just a few little bits in here, not too much in there, just some odds and ends. And go back down again got a few hammers always handy having lots of hammers and that wedge that wedge is humongous that is solid steel I've yet to find anything that this won't beat I cut this out of a big bar of steel when I used to work at a metal place and it has never let me down but it is heavy and under that, I think I have a couple more hammers and some various bits and pieces, some ball joint breakers, which you actually got from a little uh, car boot sale for a couple of pounds. And under that again, is got me hub nut set. That little little brittle expert set is absolute brilliant. I take this nearly everywhere I go. If I have to go out on a breakdown, or if it's just over a weekend, I've got a couple of little bits to do to a car. It's got so much in there, you know, from your torque drive, Allen keys, metric, imperial, extensions, deep extension, um, deep sockets, shallow sockets. It's got a lot. It's not the cheapest mine, it's about £70, I think, but it is a good set. And then that bottom drawer is just odds and ends and paperwork. Then here you've got a little selection of screwdrivers and tape measure and they're quite good actually, I use them every now and then. Little precision set I got from a 
hardware store for a few, for about five pounds, I think. And go down again. Got air drill, die grind, Allen keys, little circlip set. I actually don't use as much as I wish I did, really. You know, and just bury it. that air that air drill. Even though it's got a manual chuck, it is really good. It it all it plows. It bloody does. It goes through everything. And my little plier set, like I say, anything that's missing like that there is most likely in my apprentice's box. Oh, and I also got these from my car boot so I actually from them brightly. They were a couple of pounds, some spring compressors. Not amazing, but they're good to have a spare in case I ever break, break any. Oh, and that, that there, he's pretty damn good. It'll undo a lot for a little 3.8 rat, air ratchet. In here, we have grips lots of grips they they are bloody amazing they will grip they will rip into anything then over here we have um just some long straight and slightly bent long nose pliers and long handles quite handy then in here is just a drawer of odds and ends which i keep in case I need any electrical connectors or if any common stuff breaks that uh, I've found one which isn't broken I often go here and I'll find something and then below that again I have a little sucker that's quite handy me multimeter which is fairly good it does the job fairly well a power probe you cannot live without a power probe I will say that much and also a thermostat to one of my uh, old cars, which I mean to keep chucking in the bin. And then also I have my snap-on Solus Edge, which actually needs to go back for repair. Is he not running quite right? He keeps crashing every now and then. This is my one, which I bought myself. You know, it does it does most things. Does a few American bits, and it's just a shame it doesn't do like we gather a lot of Iveco dailies and that, but it doesn't actually specifically do them. You'd have to go into Universal OEBD, which is a bit of a pain. It doesn't give you, it only gives you basic codes. Uh, this is where a few of my odds and ends ends up in my tool bag when I go home. That's quite good. That old uh, impact driver, give it a good old smack and it'll undo quite a lot. Now these, I love these. They are getting a bit old and my teeth are getting a bit worn on them now. Sorry about the uh, video quality. I need to get a new phone. Mine's a bit getting a bit knackered now. But um, they they really are good. I love these. I, t I use these a lot over any other grips I have. These are brilliant. But yeah, um, other than that, I've got some the old safety specs and bits and pieces and rubbish in the top there, which I need to sort out. Um, other than that, that's pretty much all my tools in this little box as well. But I thought the apprentice might as well. If I'm teaching him, I might as well give him a few tools just to get him started, help him out a bit. But yeah, guys. Um, other than that, that's my toolbox. Sorry, it's a bit of a mess, but that's just how it is. And uh, I'm not saying Matt. I know you people think, oh yeah. Mac tools or snap on are the best. Well, personally, I think it's um, they each have their good tools and each have their bad tools. You know, prices vary or can be fairly similar. You know, but I just try and find the best out of both. And I don't go, I don't, I'm not brand loyal. You know, if I think a tool's better from Mac tools, I'll buy that tool. If I think it's better from snap on, I'll buy that tool. But my personal opinion, especially on.